Welcome, my name is Chris O'Reilly, National Pre-Sales Manager for CompNow. With me today is Guy Collins, one of our pre-sales engineers from South Australia. Welcome, Guy. First off, what is Wi-Fi 6? So Wi-Fi 6 is the name given to the 802.11ax standard by the Wi-Fi Alliance. The new numbering makes it easy to distinguish between the different Wi-Fi generations. Wi-Fi 6 is designed to improve efficiency with up to four times faster speeds wow. and more capacity than Wi-Fi 5. It also offers stronger guest and password security. Wi-Fi 6 also provides flexibility and scalability to support growth in the number of IoT and client devices being added to a network. With a new 6 GHz band, more throughput is available, including an increased number of non-overlapping channels and greater bandwidth. Wow, that is a lot faster than what it used to be. So, uh, it'd be silly to talk about Wi-Fi 6 and not mention Wi-Fi 6E. Can you explain to me what the E means? Yeah, so the E in Wi-Fi 6E basically stands for extended and indicates that Wi-Fi 6E extends the capacity, efficiency, coverage and performance benefits of Wi-Fi 6 into the 6 GHz band. With up to seven additional super wide 160 megahertz channels available, Wi-Fi 6E devices deliver greater network performance and support more Wi-Fi users at once, even in very dense and congested environments. So that's why it's important to set your country of operation when configuring your network. Oh, that's right, because certain channels are only available in certain countries. Correct. Ah, so that is very important. So I guess that's, you know, very important in the education space. Why is that? Yes. Well, one of the key driving factors for network upgrades in education is client device growth. We have more and more devices per user being added to a network these days than previous years, each with higher demands. For high definition video or collaboration requirements, these are all the reasons Wi-Fi 6 can be implemented to future-proof a network moving forward. Yeah, it's true. There used to be a kind of a one-to-one -one device type setup, yeah. and now it's two or three, and yeah, everyone's correct. got so many things they're adding to a network for whatever reason. Uh, not to mention all the TikToks and Snapchats going on congesting a network, but anyway. Um, so how do we ensure that our end user experience is what we require it to be? And is there any way that we can add or, or monitor it in any way? Yeah, so Aruba make a device called a UXI sensor. Uh, it's a user experience insight. It's a cloud-based application performance monitoring solution that validates network health and troubleshoots problems that affect the day-to-day -day user experience. Mm, cool. Ideal for campuses and branch environments alike, UXI assumes the role of an end user evaluating the performance, connectivity, and responsiveness of network infrastructure and applications such as corporate ERM or Office 365 applications. So essentially, it's just like a little device that we plug yeah, in or? so big. So it's just a little device it's that we plug in. Into the network. And it acts as like a, a end user. Yeah. Yeah, and it just detects problems yeah, in so real time, So it monitors the whole network, it yeah. monitors the environment. So when the UXI detects an issue, what kind of happens? What does it do with this information? Yeah, so essentially upon detecting an issue in real time, the UXI analyzes the severity of the issue using machine learning algorithms and it groups these issues that require immediate attention into larger events called incidents. These incidents are highlighted on the dashboard and thereby eliminating alert fatigue and triggering automatic ticket creation to alert and help IT quickly and proactively fix problems and optimize experiences without frustrating and time consuming troubleshooting. This can be anything relating to device association, end-to-end -end application responsiveness, web application testing, basically the quality of our network entirely. Right, so it's doing almost like the initial triaging and then assisting internal IT to help resolve the issue, like, oh, there's something broken, you've got to do yeah, something, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Cool, so how does this tail into NAPLAN and how do we utilize UXI to ensure a great test environment? Aruba has pre-prepared NAPLAN tests available on its UXI dashboard and the simulation of students using the network to do the online NAPLAN test examined if the existing infrastructure could manage the extra burden of so many students online at one time in the physical location where students would connect and identify any weak links in the network. So essentially you're running a simulation utilising tests that the kids do and yeah. understanding where, if any, the bottlenecks might be. Yeah, correct. Yeah. Awesome. So how does anyone watching get an in-depth demo of the UXI? So simply reach out to your account manager or email info at compnow.com.au. Very nice. Well, reach out if you're interested in learning more about Aruba UXI sensors. Well, now that we've talked about Wi-Fi and quality assurance monitoring, how do we go about securing all these? So recently HPE acquired Axie Security, a cloud security provider. This acquisition will allow HPE to expand its edge to cloud security capabilities by offering a unified secure access services edge or SASE solution to meet the increasing demand for integrated networking and security solutions delivered as a service. Axie Security's 
Security Services Edge, or SSE platform, addresses the need for improved application performance and increased network security as the number of remote users increases and as schools continue to migrate applications to the cloud. Mm. Bit of a tongue twister, that one. <laughs> that was a lot of acronyms. So essentially, it looks like ClearPass is set for a makeover, but you know, to be confirmed. Well, now I need to ask, how on earth is Aruba tackling the vape issue that is running rampant in a lot of Australian schools at the moment? Yeah, good question. Aruba has partnered with IP Video to connect vape detectors to the Aruba wired network via PoE. In addition to vape detection, the halo sensor can detect air particulates, chemicals and audible cries for help. The challenge has been how best to enforce no vaping rules since the vapors can be difficult to detect. E-cigarette vapor contains ammonia and the first vaping detection sensors simply detected when a preset level of ammonia was present and triggered an alarm. The problem is, that many common products contain ammonia, resulting in a high false alarm rate. Yeah, especially with kids vaping in bathrooms, you've got a lot of chemicals, they have ammonia, yeah, yeah, a lot of high false alarm rates. These features also make Halo well suited to air quality and environmental monitoring applications. Audio monitoring enables Halo to detect cries for help and aggression using keyword alerting, while a voice synthesizer lets Halo respond to occupants with context appropriate messages. For example, in response to a verbal request for help, Halo can respond that help is on the way. Ah, oh, interesting. Is it similar to a voice assistant where the voice processing is sent to the cloud to be done? No, voice detection and response are processed locally, not in the cloud. This ensures the privacy is maintained. Okay. Halo also has built-in tamper detection alert. When the sensor is triggered, alerts can be sent by email or SMS text alerts to access control systems, third-party emergency platforms, or emergency personnel. Cool. Well, that's given us a lot to think about. If you have any questions or would like to speak to an Aruba specialist at CopNow, please reach out to your account manager or email info at copnow.com.au. Thank you.